Bottoms, which just had its world premiere at the 2023 South by Southwest Film Festival, is the new film directed by Emma Seligman, Ooh. starring Rachel Sennett and Aya Adebri, about two unpopular queer girls who decide to start a fight club in order to impress other girls and lose their virginity. Uh, was the first Nights, or I guess the second night's big headliner here at South by. Lots of crowds, very much, very much excitement on the streets for this movie for Emma and Rachel returning to South by where they previously brought Shiva Baby and kind of launched themselves. Yes, sir. Uh, we were all extremely excited for this one. I think all three of us said this was, if not our most anticipated of the fest, yeah. top three. It was, it was my most anticipated. My most anticipated. Yeah, we're on the so we can, for that one, yeah. Yeah, we can be unanimous yeah. in that. Uh, it's sometimes hard to live up to a lot of hype. Amanda, I don't think this one struggled to do that though. No, it didn't at all. It was so good. It's so different from Shiva Baby, yeah. but there's just like a through line that's the same. Like you can mm. tell it's the same creative team and this one's really cool because it was written by both Emma and Rachel. Like it was very collaborative. Um, and it's just, it's just so good. It's, mm -hmm. it, I know a lot of people are making like the not another teen fight club jokes. I think that's arts review, but <laughs> a lot of people have said the not another teen movie thing, but that's like a compliment. This yeah. is like, I like that movie, by the yeah, way. Same. Yeah, exactly. I ain't did, I ain't did this for me. I'm Underrated saying, comedy. It is. like This is satirizing like a very real genre and then kind of flipping it from something that's always like dudes that are like the horny little weirdos mm -hmm. trying to do things in movies like your American Pies and all shit like that. And then letting it be like, hey, girls can be horny little weirdos too, yeah. you know? Girls can objectify other women too, you know? And it's kind of learning to like move past that. Mm. And it's okay to show people moving past that without having to be like, you never should have thought that way in the first place. <laughs> people think like that. I don't know what to tell yeah. you. No, there's definitely like no self-censoring or anything mm -hmm. like that. It's very raunchy. It's very wild. It's very yes. fun. Uh, it is as like crazy as the premise kind of leads you to maybe assume or believe. Definitely mm -hmm. yeah. not the movie that I was expecting no. Emma Seligman to return with. True. But it's, it's a movie that really does cement her abilities as a filmmaker to me because she's stretching uh, to to something that's, I feel like a very easy genre to not do well in. Yes, I totally. feel like it's very easy to try this kind of style of uh, silly high school comedy where yeah. almost every line is a joke and, and you feel uh, you feel them straining, you feel the sweatiness. It never feels like that to me. It's a large amount of the credit does go to Emma, but also just this really, really excellent cast. Yes. Rachel is amazing in. I think Io Debri steals it. I know mm -hmm. you had some thoughts on some of the supporting players who are really good in it. Was it Hannah? Uh, Havana. Havana Roselu. Uh, no, sorry, Hazel. Hazel. Oh, Ruby yeah. Cruz? Yeah, yeah, Ruby Cruz, Ruby Cruz, you're great. Yeah. That character, fan-freaking-tastic. Yeah, I think great. that's a standout for sure. Uh, but no, yeah, it was a completely side cast, and you have like a group of uh, actors who are able to riff off of each other. There's also, <laughs> it's, it's a movie about women. Yeah. yeah. But Marshawn Lynch had no business being that funny <laughs> know, in this right? movie. Oh uh, he's gonna be in a couple of other movies this year. He's in one of the specials on Netflix for the, uh, with the uh, anthology comedy thing you like. Oh, the Murderville one, yes. He is great there. Dude, he, he killed it as the substitute teacher here as well. Uh, I know South By's had movies like uh, the one from Olivia Wilde. That oh, everyone Booksmart. Would, Booksmart. Everyone would call that like uh, the yeah. super bad but yeah. with girls. Yeah. This isn't the super bad with no, girls. It's, no. This is the movie that people, when another one comes out, are going to be like, oh, this is the new bottom. Yes. Yeah. And bottom. that's a really cool aspect of it yeah. that uh, uh, I think it's going to make it stand up. Uh, yeah, I mean, I hate to like heap so much praise on a movie that a lot of people haven't had a chance to see. To me, this is like an instant high school classic. Y'all oh, yeah. came out of it loving it. Yeah. I mean, I, I struggle to remember a lot of other high school movies that I enjoyed more than this one, that I laughed at more than this one. There's just like the, the quick paced nature of it. They do the thing that I love in comedies where instead of cutting to the reaction, you cut just straight to the joke. And yeah. it's just yeah. joke, joke, joke. Yeah. Uh, and th the way they're able to constantly, like there are these moments of um, emotional honesty that like mm -hmm. pour through, but they don't linger on them. There'll be somebody who says something kind of like revealing and, and very vulnerable and it's immediately followed by something absolutely ridiculous. And I could see some people uh, maybe pushing back on how absurd it is. It's not a movie that's yeah. really tr trying to, it's not trying to be grounded. It's, it's, and unlike Shiva it's Baby. Not, yeah, mm -hmm. I think that's the thing going into it is that I love Shiva Baby so much. We're, we're reverse Same. scores on this. Yeah. You gave Shiva Baby the score, I gave this one and I gave Shiva, the score you gave, mm -hmm. uh, and vice versa, or however that goes. But uh, yeah, there's just something about Shiva Baby where I thought they had it down pat. Me too, now, it now, is. Yeah, to me, that, that's a masterpiece. Mm -hmm. I watched it again, it gets closer to five every single time. I this one's, I give it three and a half closer to a four, and I know on a rewatch I'll probably like it even more, because mm -hmm. like you said, out of the 
five uh, biggest movies that we saw at the fest, this was like maybe the second, if not third, of the biggest audience reactions. Yes. Yeah. This is that movie where you need to watch it again because everyone's laughing that you're missing yes, the joke per minute that they're the giving next it. Thing. One critique would be I think there's a lot of at bats. Mm -hmm. And there were other movies where the at bat percentage was a little bit funnier. However, there's so many jokes yes. that if you're laughing at like, you know, 50 out of the 60, right. You still laughed at 50 jokes. Yeah, exactly. You know? It's so, kind of like the 30 Rock thing, where even if you don't like this joke, you probably will like laugh the at the one. next one. Yeah. Shiva Baby just had a better at bat percentage. Rate. That's it. I'll agree, because I have Shiva Baby at a five, but I could just at a four and a half, that, I know. maybe. Like, it's <laughs> up there. Good. Like, I really enjoyed this. I'm so excited to catch it again. Mm -hmm. I felt very tempted to not go to Evil Dead to watch this one a second <laughs> Might time. Might have been the better decision. Nah. Might have been the better decision. Is not Evil Dead where you got to see? That's true. There it was an experience, which we will, you know, probably we get talk into. About, we'll talk about, but this was just really fun. Uh, and I think it's like good to show that like girls can have a lot of these conflicting feelings within themselves uh, that, you know, you don't want people objectifying you, but it is so very easy to objectify other people because you are a teenager going through hormones mm -hmm. and emotions and you just want someone to hug. And it's like, and that's where you get stuff like this and yeah. you have to learn how to like be better. But then it is just really over the top and raunchy, which I think is really good to have out there because there are so many examples of this done well and done terribly mm -hmm. from like the male perspective yes, yes. that it is great to have really good examples of it because so much of it's like, well, it's the best we got, so we're gonna like it. This is actually really good. Mm -hmm. And I think when going into it, I did expect it to be a little bit more like a book smart. I think yeah. that was more the, and I like book smart a lot. I really yeah. do. But then this is just doing an entirely different, outrageous thing that I was not like remotely expecting. Yeah. I, you, we talked about how there was so much laughter that you couldn't necessarily hear every single line. And I do think when we get a chance to revisit it, it's going to, you're going to find all those smaller moments too. Mm -hmm. All the little things written on lockers or the custom posters. Oh and, and that's another thing that really impressed me is that the jokes weren't just the script. The jokes were the setting and the atmosphere yeah. and the direction of the background actors. There's this whole bit with like a cage that goes completely uncommented on. Yeah. Um, so it, that's again, to me a huge sign of MSL. Bro, that was talents. so goofy. I mean, <laughs> yeah, there's a, I'm not gonna say it, but yeah, you're yeah. right. Yeah. And, and, but that's to me a sign of how good Emma Seligman is at this yeah. job, the yeah. way that she'll find act, like two people will do a walk and talk and then the third person will land in the perfect spot in the middle and they'll have these little interactions as they move. The, the blocking is, is top tier. I was really blown away by this one. I think it's a great, great time, a really fun time. Mm -hmm. um, there is the risk that like you get the hype of the room and the atmosphere, there, but like there is. I've we've saw some films that had an intense reaction, and I did not feel as strongly about uh -huh. them as I do about Bottoms. Yeah. I, I feel like my reaction to Bottoms is is going to hold up, and it, honestly, I could see it going mm -hmm. higher. I love this movie. Yeah, All right. So when fun. it comes out, y'all saying day one at the theater recommendation? Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. If you're a fan of this, like if if you're a fan of her or Rachel or like really any of these people like it's it's worth and if you like to laugh we're yeah. going to be mentioning a couple of these actors multiple times in our coverage unless as well. you just really really fucking hate absurdist comedy or things that go over the top or if it ventures into an area where like that could never happen maybe right. say but even if you're not willing, I, I don't think you'd hate it no but that yeah, might be funny. more of a wait till streaming Okay. If you're that kind of person, no, but if you're just, yeah, yeah. I, mean, the I would theater do experience. I would do the theater experience because yeah. I do think it will heighten it, especially mm -hmm. if you're with yeah. like an engaged crowd that's really enjoying it. Um, so like, I'm just so excited to to check this one out. Again. My mind was just like going places when we watched. I was like, the, we're seeing like Ben Stiller and Owen Wilson and Zoolander, and like, yeah. we're, you know, we're like I want to see Rachel Sennett and Iowa Debris do like ten more yeah, movies. Exactly. Like, they I want this to be like a duo that goes forward, like your Damons and your yes. Affleck. Like yes. I want They've that done the TV going stuff. forward. Mm -hmm. Did you see the tweet going around calling them uh, Emma and uh, Rachel the Scorsese De Niro? Yes, <laughs> they are. Let's do it. Because that's also uh, proving that comedy has a lot of emotions in it, which I think is, was a big through line for this yeah. South by as well. Because uh, after we were talking about it, we're like, uh, it's, I felt it was more parody, but the way that it satirizes stuff, it, it's like the Blazing Saddles yes. for yeah. high school movies. Yeah. Yeah, where absolutely. you're going to have a lot of jokes in this movie that people will not be able to repeat. Put it to you that way. Yeah. But the way that they're able to land them and deliver them, uh, I thought was, was, so was fantastic. Yeah. Uh, unanimous recommendation. I think yeah, we're just absolutely. excited for more people to get the chance to see Bob's. Yeah, for sure.